fourth quarter and how things got turned around? Yeah, it was uh, much better. You know, it was, it was the first and fourth, 34-19 in the first, 35-19 in the fourth. Uh, didn't get many stops in between, but uh, started the game the way we intended to and uh, were able to close. Is it, what do you take away from that? Hey, it could have been a nail biter, you know, a couple point victory, but to win by double digits, you know, to make a little bit of a statement, do you feel? How do you, how do you look at um, it? You know, of course, we as coaches, uh, we're happy to win the game in any way it takes, but we also want to get better. So. Gave up a lot of points there in the in the second and third quarter, and, and we're going to look at ways we can improve. I got two just to start. Shorter rotation tonight. Just what was your reasoning behind that? Must win game. You know, no Gorn. Um, so we kept it at eight and just tried to be tight with it. Talk about those second and third quarters. What what was the difference to you, and what changed after that hot start, as you mentioned? Didn't defend. You know, we just weren't as uh, I think combative. Curious with with that, like how how are you able to sort of measure uh, sort of the sustainability of your defense? Like how much how how can we play forty eight minutes of defense come playoff time? Can we play thirty six, twenty four? Like what, what, how do you see that going forward? With from what you saw tonight, where you came out strong, obviously defensively, but couldn't sustain it uh, beyond you know the first fifteen minutes. You know this is a <clears throat> this is a new group. You know played very few games together, so we're just looking for a little bit of improvement every day. That's it. So we can't get too carried away with um, reinventing the wheel, uh, fixing the world's problems. We just got to chip away, get a little bit better every day. This is still, you know, training camp month for this team. I got a couple for you. Uh, the first one is Andre this morning said both these games he felt like were must wins. How much emphasis do you put on Sunday's game now, knowing that if you win, you're the seventh seed? Yeah, I, I think it's a, that's what we're playing for, is to try to play at home and um, in the play-in game. So we, we definitely uh, are aiming to get prepared to play on Sunday and win the game. And the second part <clears> is, <throat> as a coach, how would you describe the luxury of being able to hand the ball to Kevin late and just say, win it for us? Well, that's... Uh, you know, that, that is the luxury of having, um, you know, one of the all-time great players. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's been there before, and he's got the skill and, and uh, poise to do it. Um, you know, that's, that's uh, probably the most obvious answer I could give, but that's, the, I mean, that's pretty true. Steve, you talked about the will being a problem at times. I mean, how much does it concern you that, you know, given the stakes you guys are already playing with, it's still a bit of an issue? And, you know, does the stakes of the play in and the playoffs maybe remedy some of that too when you guys get there? Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of factors. It's not just will all the time. It's like a lot of guys have played heavy minutes because we've had tons of injuries. We're, you know, missing key guys. We're missing starters and rotation players. So everyone's got to play more and it puts a lot of pressure on our. You know, our top two guys to play a lot of minutes. Um, so that that's a challenge for us is, is how much effort they have to put forth. And sometimes we have pockets of the game where maybe we're not as good as others. Is Goran still in back, but um, he's not out of health and safety. Given the, the extra workload that some guys have, given the injuries and guys being out, how much of a concern is it, the lapses that you've seen here and there on the floor, is that uh, a byproduct of the fatigue, if you will? It's part of it. You know, like I said, I think, you know, guys have played a lot of minutes. And then there's the other part where they've played very few games together. So there might be a stretch of the game where, you know, we're not communicating at the best rate. We're not as familiar. We don't have, haven't been through this at the same time um, with this group. So, you know, we're also trying to learn each other and figure out what those little, connect, you know, connections are and, and and combinations are in different different areas, both ends of the floor. Uh, defensively, you know, that that's underrated sometimes, is having played with a guy, know what he's good at, what he's not, where he needs help, where he doesn't, know what he's going to do on a certain um, action. And so part of that is in our growth going forward as well.